Unit 6, Lesson 17, Two Related Quantities, Part 2. Number 1. A car is traveling down a road at a constant speed of 50 miles per hour. So 1 hour equals 50 minutes. A. Complete the table with the amounts of time it takes the car to travel certain distances or the distances traveled for certain amounts of time. The left side column of the table represents time or hours and the right side of the table represents distance or miles. Since the car travels 50 miles in one hour, 2 times 50 or 2 hours times 50 miles would equal 100 miles. 1.5 times 50 would equal 75 miles. And t times 50 would equal 50 t or 50 times t. A distance of 50 miles would take 1 hour or 50 divided by 50 equals 1. A distance of 300 miles would take 6 hours. 300 divided by 50 equals 6. And a distance of d miles would be d divided by 50, d over 50, or 1 50th times d. b. Write an equation that represents the distance traveled by the car, d, for an amount of time, t. 50 times t equals d, or 50t equals d. You can also write it d equals 50t. C. In your equation, which is the dependent variable and which is the independent variable? We have to look at the equation that I wrote. 50t equals d, or 50 times t equals d. The value for d depends on the value of t, or what we're multiplying by t. Another way to look at it is, the distance that the car will travel depends on how many hours you're driving. So the distance depends on the time. The distance would be the dependent variable, or d, and the independent variable would be time, or t. Number two. The graph represents the amount of time in hours it takes a ship to travel various distances in miles. A. Write the coordinates of one point on the graph. What does the point represent? I wrote the coordinates for the first point in the bottom left hand corner. The coordinates are 25 and 1. And what this means is 25 miles was traveled in one hour time. B. What is the speed of the ship in miles per hour? Since it traveled 25 miles in one hour time, the speed would be 25 miles per hour. C. Write an equation that relates the time, t, it takes to travel a given distance, d. The distance equals 25 times t, or d equals 25 t. Another way to write an equation that would relate the time t it takes to travel a given distance d would be time equals distance divided by 25 or t equals d over 25. Number three, find the solution to each equation in the list that follows. Not all numbers will be used. A, two to the power of x equals eight. Substitute the 3 for the x. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. b. 2 to the power of x equals 2. Substitute the 1 for the x. 2 to the power of 1 equals 2. c. x to the power of 2 equals 100. Substitute the x with 10. 10 to the power of 2, or 10 times 10, equals 100. d x to the power of 2 equals 1 over 100. Substitute 1 tenth for x, and you have 1 tenth to the power of 2, which is 1 tenth times 1 tenth equals 1 over 100. e. x to the power of 1 equals 7. Substitute the x with the 7, and you have 7 to the power of 1 equals 7. f. 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 3 equals 2 to the power of 7. 
substitute the x with a 4 and you have 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 3 and that equals 2 to the power of 7. g 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the third power equals 2 to the fifth power. Substitute the x with an 8 and you'll have 2 to the eighth power divided by 2 to the third power equals 2 to the fifth power. Number 4. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to 5x plus 30x minus 15x. A. 5 times x plus 6x minus 3x. That's equivalent to 5 times x or 5x plus 5 times 6x or 30x minus 5 times 3x which is 15x. So yes, that expression is equivalent. B. 5 plus 30 minus 15 times x. That's equivalent to 5x plus 30x minus 15x. Yes, that expression is also equivalent. Let's look at C. x times 5 plus 30x minus 15x. x times 5 is the same as 5x. x times 30x is the same as 30x squared. So that's not going to be equivalent. Let's look at D. 5x times 1 plus 6 minus 3. 5x times 1 is 5x plus 5x times 6, that's 30x, minus 5x times 3, that's 15x. So that's also equivalent. Let's look at E. 5 times x plus 30x minus 15x. 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 30x is 150x. That's not going to work. That's not equivalent. So I would go with A, B, and D. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 6, Lesson 17, Two Related Quantities, Part 2. Right now you can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. That sure beats the price you'd pay for a tutor. 